In this video, I'm going to show you a hack that can help you find profitable keywords for your low content books on Amazon KDP. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline and we're all on the quest for the best keywords or the best tool out there to help us find the best keywords because there are so many books available on Amazon, especially in the no and low content book arena. We are always searching and trying to find ways to make our books stand out from the rest. The cornerstone of any Amazon listing is the use of keywords and using the correct keywords. You don't want to be using the wrong keywords because then that's just going to bring you a whole bunch of customers who don't want to buy your book. You also don't want to be using keywords that are not in the niche that your book is in, but in a very similar or in a niche alongside the niche that your book is in, in the hopes of sort of pulling a customer over and convincing a customer to buy your book instead of the book that they were actually looking for, because that is just not going to happen. And by this, I mean, let's say that you have an activity book that you're advertising and you use keywords that are targeting coloring books because you think, well, if somebody likes a coloring book, they're most likely going to like an activity book. And if I can just get them to see mine, then they're definitely going to want to buy it because it's a great book and in a very similar niche to the coloring book that they were originally searching for. And so maybe I can pull them over and actually buy my activity book, even though they were looking for a coloring book. But that sort of thing just doesn't really work. Customers are smart. They are on Amazon looking for what they want. That's very rare that they're actually going to be pulled over to something completely different that they weren't even searching for just because you've use some keywords to target them or to target the niche they're looking for, even when your book is not in that niche. That just doesn't really work. And there are a few different ways that you can search for keywords for your Amazon listing. Some are free, some are paid. The free ways usually just involve searching on the Amazon website itself, usually just searching in the search bar there, which brings down that drop down of customers previous searches for keywords that they've done. And quite often using the free Amazon search expander Chrome plugin, which gives you access to even more keywords and keyword phrases that customers have used in the past in the Amazon search bar. And then there are paid tools that you can use tools like Helium 10 and tools like Publisher Rocket, which collect thousands upon thousands of keywords for you in just a few seconds. So they give you something that they can do much more quicker than that than what you can do for yourself. And so that is why it is a paid tool. But I have come across a neat little hack where you can get access to even more keywords from Amazon that you can use in your listings, in your titles, your subtitles, the seven keyword slots, and in your ads, of course, if you're running ads. And the great thing about it is that it is totally free. It is something that we do on Amazon. So I love that it's coming straight from the source. It's coming straight from the behavior of its customers and things that customers have typed into the search bar when searching for certain products and certain niches. And so I don't think there's any better way or a better place to find keywords to target your customers because obviously you're targeting Amazon customers and that's where these keywords are going to be coming from. So let's get into my computer and let me show you. Okay, so the tool that we are going to need to be able to do this keyword research is the Amazon advertising platform. So if you already have an Amazon ads account, then just log into your account. If not, it is very easy to set up an Amazon ads account and it is totally free. You just go to their Amazon ads platform and uh, register an ads account. You do not need to be setting up ads or anything like that. So don't worry, I'm not going to be getting you to set up ads. This is just so you have access to the advertising platform because that's where we're going to be getting the keywords from. So once you have set up your ads account, then we just go to our dashboard. Now, before anyone asks me about ads, I have only just sort of started dabbling in ads with my low content books. So I'm just learning. I have pretty much no clue what I'm doing with running ads. So please don't ask me how to run ads or anything like that. If you do want to learn about running ads on Amazon, a really great resource is Ashley from Publish with Ashley. She has an Amazon ads course, which I purchased from her quite a long time ago, did it a while ago, but then never ended up getting into doing ads. And I have redone the course again recently so that I can learn how to do these ads. But that is not going to be the focus of the video today. I just wanted to address that in case case anybody wants to ask me anything about ads or says my ACOS is too high or all that stuff, it's 
I find I'm just experimenting and trying to learn how to do ads. So from here to get the keywords that I'm talking about, what you do need to do is you need to click down here and create a campaign. Again, we are not actually creating a campaign. That's just where I want you to go to be able to find these keywords. From here, we are going to click on sponsored products. And first of all, I do just want to say that this is going to work the best and you're going to get the full advantage of it if you already have a book published in the niche that you want to search for keywords for. If if you don't have a book already published in the niche that you're going to be searching for keywords for, don't worry, there is another little hack or another method that you can use within the campaign settings to search for keywords. But if you already have a book published, it's going to work the best. So let me show you, for example, you don't have to fill anything out here because we're not setting up an actual ad. But what we're going to do is we're just going to click here on manual targeting. It's going to be automatically selected as as automatic targeting. So click this button and change it to manual targeting. This gives us the option to choose keywords to target in an ad or to choose products to target in an ad. So then to get to the manual targeting section, we just scroll down here a little bit further. We just wanna scroll down here to this section that says manual targeting and the keyword targeting option will be pre-selected. So we wanna leave that there, make sure that keyword targeting is selected because this is how we're going to get our keywords. Now, when I said it is going to work best for you if you already have a book in the niche that you wanna do keyword research on, that's because there is a way to get a list of suggested keywords. So what you can do is you can go back up here if you already have a book in the niche that you want. I'm going to be blurring my books out because unfortunately there are people out there that just want to copy what you do instead of just making something original for themselves. What you want to do is select a book that's in the niche that you want to do keyword research for. So I am going to select a coloring book and you just there will be a little add button next to the book that you want to select and I just add that and it will come over here on the right hand side to this section here the products you want to advertise we're not advertising it but that's how we get the list of suggested keywords up so then you come down here and it has now pre-filled this section with suggested keywords based on the book that I have selected okay so it has a massive list here of keywords related to coloring books because that's what I chose you can use Use these keywords for your listing. Like I say, if you are going to be doing a, say you do have a coloring book, you've selected your coloring book to get some keyword ideas because you have another coloring book that you're going to launch and you wanted some keyword ideas for the title or the subtitle, then you can go through here and look for the different keywords. You might end up wanting to pop adult coloring book for women in your subtitle because your book is targeting women and that is a keyword that gets used obviously to search for on Amazon. It may be for men. So you could choose adult coloring book for men. And then obviously you can use these keywords in your seven keyword slots. And obviously in your ads, if you're running ads, you can use any of these keywords. And so the list can be quite large. And you can see here, it brings up other brands. I saw a Jade Summer coming up there. You can use brand names and trademarked terms in your ads, but you cannot use them in your Amazon listing at all. So avoid using anything trademarked or anyone's brand name or author name and things like that. But this will give you lots of different ideas for keywords and possibly even niche ideas. If you're in the coloring book niche and you're looking for what topic your next coloring book could be, this can give you some ideas. You've got succulent coloring book, witchcraft. I saw animals and butterflies, farmhouse, nature, so it can also give you some really good niche ideas on possibly what your next book could be or the topic of your next book could be. But that's basically it. That is a huge list of keywords that may not have come up in the Amazon search bar if we were searching for them. But it just gives you another great way of finding keywords. And if you just go through your books and you add them to get the different keywords, you can do that and you can get lots of different keyword ideas. I'm just going to do the same thing with a notebook and see how that works. So I'll remove the coloring book and I'm going to search for a notebook that I have. Okay, so I've just added a plain old notebook, it's just a notebook with a sort of like a quote on the front of it. Not an inspirational quote it's sort of a funny quote I guess on the front just a plain lined notebook and so we can see what kind of keywords it's bringing up for that so it's brought up gratitude journal which has nothing to do with my notebook but it could be a keyword idea or even a niche idea manifestation journal composition notebooks journals for teen girls and again lots of keyword ideas that we could possibly use throughout our Amazon listing and our, and our ads if you do run ads. So I just think it's a really great way to get new keyword ideas completely 
free, not using some paid tool or anything like that. And these uh, phrases are coming straight from Amazon's customers. Now, as I said before, if you don't have any books already uploaded in the niche that you want to do keyword research for, then there is another way that you can sort of do a bit of a less intensive kind of keyword search than what comes up there. But we head over here and click enter list and you could start typing some keywords in. So let's say we type in coloring because we're looking for coloring book keywords. This gives you a list. It's a much smaller list. It's only got 10, I think, keywords here, but you could enter more detailed words up here in the box or phrases in this box to try to find different types of keywords that you could possibly use. So just bringing up coloring is going to bring up the most broad type of keywords like coloring books, coloring books for kids, coloring book for women. They're quite broad keywords. So if we typed in coloring book, maybe even just type a letter, go through the alphabet. So what comes up coloring book A? So we've got animals, anime, adults relaxation. If we do B, coloring book for boys, coloring book butterflies, Bible by number. So by number is a different type of coloring book that you could create if you're looking at doing different types of coloring books. C, we've got adult coloring book, cat, cafe, cuss words. Um, just a point there. See, this has just um, triggered something in my mind about the keywords that we use and the types of phrases we're using. So swearing coloring books are very, very popular. Swearing anything um, is very popular on Amazon. Any kind of notebook, any kind of coloring book, activity book, it's got a swear word on it. People just seem to love it. Now, what's interesting is we call swear words, well, swear words. And I think the majority of the world call them swear words. But in America, they call them cuss words, right? So if you're targeting the US Amazon marketplace, which I think the majority of us do, then we could be missing out on a great big group of people who are searching on Amazon for a coloring book with cuss words because we don't use that word. I've never even thought before to use the word cuss in any title, subtitle or keywords. I would use swear or swearing because that's what we call swear words. So that's just brought something to my attention that it could be that if you have something with swearing on it, you're missing out on a portion of the market because they're not typing in coloring book for swear words. They're typing in coloring book for or with cuss words. So that's something that you could have now picked up on that you didn't know before. So that's a really great thing that's just come out of just doing this little search here for keywords. So let's just do another one. We've got D, Disney, obviously do not do Disney, dragons, dogs, dinosaur. So if you do have a dinosaur coloring book, let's just type in dinosaur and see if anything else comes up. So it's narrowing it down to who you're targeting, kids, toddler or adults. Let's say we're doing coloring book flowers. So they've got for women, for adult women, simple. So people who don't want intricate, very hard to color designs, they might just want something simple. Some people have been searching for butterflies and mandala or maybe butterflies that have a mandala pattern within them possibly. We've got flower coloring book flowers easy. So if you do have a very simple coloring book, you've got the choice of using the word simple as your keyword and easy as your keyword because people are going to be searching for different terms because people say different things and type in different things that they're searching for. You've got two different sets of keywords you can target there which mean the same thing. Let's pop in animals. So we've got for kids, teens, toddlers. So they're bringing up more age typed type of things. We do four. So it's just uh, typing in just all different stuff to see what comes up. I'm gonna type in notebook and see what comes up with notebook. That's very broad, but we've got nothing really that's gonna be targeting books printed by KDP. So if we do the same thing and just pop in some letters, we've got nothing there, but A4 and A5 basically coming up there. We've got not much going on in the B. Same with C, I did see notebook cute, dotted notebook. So that would be sort of like a dot grid or a, another name for it is bullet journal, but bullet journal is trademarked. E, so we've got executive notebook, engineering notebook. So we've got, let's type in for notebook for women, girls, kids, school, meeting notebook for work. See if we type in funny. So notebook, funny cover, funny sayings, funny work, funny quite quat. <laughs> I said cat in quote. Funny cat, funny quote. So um, you can see how it can give you some keyword ideas. If you have something more specific to the niche that you're looking in, then, you know, that'll give you some ideas for keywords as well. Possibly even niche ideas if you're looking for them too. So I just typed in inspiration there and we've got inspirational quotes, inspirational men. Think of with inspirational books, quite often we think of 
women are the ones that want them, but inspirational notebooks for men might be a keyword or a niche that you could look at using as well. And so that's just another great way, another great tool that you can add to your toolbox to help you with gathering keywords for your books. And like I say, you might even get a new niche idea in there as well while doing that keyword research. And best of all, it is totally free. I hope that you did find this video helpful. And if you do think that this is a great keyword hack, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.